You play the role of Eric in a very understated way. Why is that? And what's the one thing that people don't understand about your character? All right, Jenny, I played the role of Eric uh, kind of low-key because um, he's very confident and um, he doesn't have to be loud. Loudness is just loudness, it's not power. And, and uh, he, uh, he knows what he wants and how to get it, so he doesn't have to raise his voice. That's why he's very... Um, he's very focused and and plus I believe in that kind of acting in general that I think uh, and gestures too if you like too much uh, gestures or or too much loudness would just dilute the part uh, the way uh, water does to good wine and uh, one thing that people sometimes uh, sometimes people think that Eric is they what they want him to be the bad guy or like Oh, so you're the, the evil, the evil, the evil vampire, and I, uh, I don't think so. I don't think that's the case. I think it's more complicated than that. I, I don't. In general, I don't believe in, in good versus evil. I think people are and are more complicated than that. My second question is: You play a one thousand year old vampire in the series. Have you thought about what experiences the vampire has gone through to bring him to this point in the series? So. Um, yeah, Jenny, Eric was born uh, a thousand years ago in, in Sweden. He was a Viking back then. And, and um, obviously, when I was doing research, I was, you know, there's a lot to play around with. And it's kind of fun uh, as an actor to, to, there's a lot of opportunities. He's been around for a millennium. So, um, first, we were kind of talking about having a, a strong Scandinavian accent. But I didn't want to go that way because. I believe that since he's been around for so long, he probably speaks 20, 15, 20 languages fluently. So um, he's a bit of an entrepreneur. He's been around the world, and uh, and I believe that he's been in Louisiana for, for quite a while, uh, running um, different sorts of operations and businesses. And and but he's he's definitely he's, he definitely has a lot of lot, lots of experience. My last question is. Creator Alan Ball is famous for Six Feet Under. What is it like to work with him? Is there any advice that he's given to you about the role you play in the show? Well, uh, Jenny, Alan is um, is is an amazing human being. He's he's very creative and, and super intelligent. And 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 one thing that's that's great about this project is we're working on this project is that he's uh, so dedicated. He loves it so much and. And you would think that that's always the case when you work with with people, and but it really isn't. Sometimes when you uh, people are in the business for other reasons or work on specific projects for other reasons, but Alan is he loves this project so much and all the characters. So he's uh, he's so devoted and he's very very hands on. He's always around on set or not far away, so you can always talk to him and ask him about stuff. So it's um, it's been a fun first.